Quality and productivity is some of our corner pillars in Danbred, and we strive to excel in every aspect and in all tasks that we do. This, of course, also extends to the high-quality products that we aim to deliver to all our customers. But for us to deliver high-quality products, we must also make sure that the quality assessment of the future breeding candidates is well done. We have a team of Danbred selection managers to undertake this task and to tell us how it's done. And I would like to tell you a little bit more about that. Selecting the gills for the future is one of the key factors in ensuring high productivity, longevity and animal welfare. This also making sure that you are able to utilize the full economic potential of the Danbred animal. Selection of the gills should first and foremost be based on index level. But you should also pay attention to the confirmation and the overall quality to make a proper selection for the next generation. The next generation should be based on the best of the best. And this is also why we need to know what the perfect guilt looks like. And I would like to take you on a journey with me to see from our perspective and see a step-by-step -step selection. Looking at the animal overall, the proportions and the line is one of the key factors. The perfect gilt must be well proportioned. It must show straight lines in both front and hind legs and also a smooth unbroken back line. And also it has to show a movement without wobbling. When looking at the animals, it's very important that you always access the animals from all angles from the front, from behind, both sides and also underneath it. Make sure that you are selecting the gills with functional genitalia, for example, no hermaphrodites. And also check and count the tits. And of course, there should be no other exterior defects. The perfect gills should always be the goal. But the most important thing to remember is to minimize severe quality issue that might have a negative impact on the future production and animal welfare. Quality issues that might affect the general carrying capacity, such as inwarded or outwarded front legs, weak or upright pastons, or pressure nuts on hinds and front leg but also quality issues that might seem less important has to be taken into consideration while you're doing the overall assessment of the animal. This could be ear and tail bites, severe scratches, boils and so on that might affect the production in the future. Prior to selection, it is very important to make a proper preparation. Make a plan for it. Which age groups are you looking for? Do you have a list ready of the available animals in that age group? And do you know how many that you're looking for? When your plan is ready, make sure that you have all the equipment needed by hand. This could be an ear tag scanner if electronic tags is used, paper or pen if you don't use tablet, a color spray, and the most important thing, you need to have the right mindset about the selection. You need to be focused on the selection because if you're stressed, so will the animals be. When you're selecting the future breeding animals, it is important that you make sure that you are selecting among suitable breeding candidates. So make sure that the animals has an ear tag with a Danbred ID number and the animal is registered in the Danbred data bank. If animals has lost their ear tag and there's no ways to trace the origin, it is no longer suitable as a breeding candidate. When I go into the pen for selection, there's a few basic principles are always keep in mind. Before entering into the pen, I look for the uniformity and I look for the gilts as a group. I look if, if the size of them is compared to the age. Do they meet our recommendation for age and weight? When entering into the pen, I keep in mind that I need to make my decision in just a few seconds. Making the animals move from one end to another allows me to access all animals individually to check the movement and the uniformity. It is very important that you have enough room for this access and you also need dry floors. When the selection is made, 
we recommend to move the gilt that do not meet the Danbred quality, making sure that the future breeding animals get the best possible condition as possible, ensuring high productivity, longevity and animal welfare. Remember that gilts are the future of your production, so the decision you make now will affect the future productivity. But you should always keep in mind that the physical selection does not outweigh the index level. These two should always go hand in hand for you to utilize the full Danbred potential.